Hey everybody, thank you for being prepared a fence. So finally I got this burner back together. Uh, I have to admit, yeah, and I also know that my my screw for the other safety lever is missing. It's not actually missing, I've kind of stripped it, but let's just talk about this burner. Um, so whoever designed this burner did a very fine damn well job in designing this burner because they left nothing to chance the the way the distance um the distance the, the ham engages to the valve pin the amount of valve pin protrudes on the other end um etc just a whole mechanics they did a splendid job in in fortifying this launcher so that tinkerers like us cannot do it on our own but i might have half a victory so I finally got on my own pin to seal so yeah so let me just show you quickly so here's the original burner pin my my valve pin is inside here so I had to do some adjustments to the pin length uh, because all sorts of things were happening I would exhaust it I couldn't get it first to seal because of this this rum here on the edge and it's precisely machined to 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 fit the o-ring on the cap so it doesn't leak any co2 god i had a i had a, a hard time to get that right as my my my, my eyesight is not as as good anymore in any case i'm far-sighted so but in any case enough jibber jabber um a victory today for me is that my own valve pin works so I've changed this but in any case let's see what the end result is but uh, as I said I had to modify it slightly so but I can but now I know I can make my own valve pin and it won't leak so let's give this a shot right here I have it first few shots Okay, time to pierce and by the way, I'm all loaded up with 3.8 grams um, Duke um, glass breaking projectiles. So let's see. No leaks. And my hammer has been adjusted um, in the right direction. So I think I said anti clockwise, yeah. All the way out. Let's see. Oh, I'm safe. Safety off. 16.3 joules. How about that? 15 joules. Point two. Okay, welcome back. So I've tested this um, off camera again, and I was still getting about five joules, four point two joules afterwards. So, so I'm quickly putting popping in another canister. So now I have to wonder how much of this eight gram. Am I expelling on the first two shots because I'm still on eight gram um, CO2. Um, my next best bet would be to upgrade to a 12 gram adapter and get a tighter ball barrel. But for shits and giggles, let's see if we get some similar um, numbers and. Hopefully I didn't break my chrono. I've already set it up for burners. 2.9 um, gram projectiles. I only got four left by the way. Four used ones. So hopefully this will count. Anyhow. Here we go. And let's just check again if everything is still fine with my valve pin. Sorry. Everything still seems gravy. 
Let's check it out. First shot. Oh, again on safe. Twelve point six. Eight point four. Eight point eight. Three point five. Okay, so it kind of, um, I just want to see, let's just check quickly. Hmm. Still air left. Let's check that out. Hmm. So I get a high of 12.6 with the burner projectiles and I get a high of 16.3 and a 15 joule follow up shot with the Duke projectiles. Anyhow, back to the drawing board I guess to see what's happening with this phenomena. Cheers. Till the next video.